have time slip Super Nintendo. Oh yeah, baby. If you love games like Contra Free here on the Super Nintendo and you want some more, well, tough shit. Thankfully, there are companies out there that said, hey, we can copy the idea. And here we got Time Slip here on Super Nintendo. Now, it looks like Contra. It plays a lot like Contra. But is it as good? That's what I'm here to find out. And that's why you click on this whole video and jump. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the deal is on a generic scientist dude, and you have to see if you can stop the alien invasion. The aliens want to go back in time to make sure that the humans don't have like a lot of good weaponry and shit. So yeah, they're sending a whole bunch of machines and all that to wipe out all the humans and stuff. So kind of like uh, the Terminator and all that shit. I don't know. Strange story aside, how's the gameplay? Yeah, if you're familiar with Contra, it seems a little bit slower than that game. Yeah, you're... <laughs> Instead of running all over the place, it looks like your character is taking a nice leisurely jog, trying to lose a few pounds instead of, you know, saving the world and shit. But, you know, like Contra, you can upgrade your weapons to, like, a nice spread fire here. And you can also have multiple bombs and grenades as sub weapons too. You know, there's a lot in here to like. Great controls, smooth action, tons of you know bad guys to shoot. You don't have to like rescue hostages or anything. Anything moves, you kill it. Yeah, it's fun for a little bit. Then it doesn't have like the nuances that a good game like Contra Free would have. So if you want a lot of weapon variety, well, you know, tough shit. <laughs> yeah, your primary weapon here is just pretty much straight fire. You can upgrade to like a freeway spread shot at maximum level, but yeah, air than bombs and, you know, special attacks like that. <laughs> you can't get any other weapons than like the main cannon. And it's kind of boring. Yeah, not to mention the gravits here are pretty plain looking. This came after Contra Free. Man, everything just looks so pastel. You don't have like a lot of detail in areas. A lot of background tiles tend to repeat themselves a lot. It's just not a statically pleasing looking game. And you might be surprised at yeah, just how dull it looks. Especially in some of the later levels. Yeah, speaking of which, yeah, this game is only five levels long. It doesn't go away too quick, and you definitely have to get very good at the game if you want to beat this one. Now, if you find this game cheap, it's not too bad, but it's a very average experience. Yeah, you won't have too much time for this one after you're done with it. <laughs> after you see the lackluster end in, or you get a high score that, of course, you can't save. Yeah, there's not really too many reasons to go back to this one. Even the time slip feature where you're chattering back to different periods and all that is <laughs> kind of underwhelming. Yeah, it's nice that I'm finding like different rods and Egypt and like different mechanical areas, but <laughs> honestly, with these dull graphics and lackluster music here. It's just not worth the time to slip through these areas. Oh no, look out, that guard might get me. <laughs> Aren't I a soldier from the future? How is a hand gonna hurt me? <laughs> now, if you're desperate for some country like action on your Super Nintendo, yeah, I guess this might fill the bill, but damn is it ever average. You got big bosses, touch of enemies to shoot. But man, does everything look so generic. Yeah, give it a try if you want, but yeah, don't say they warn you. Okay, time slip here on Super Nintendo. It earns a 57 now, I wonder. It would have been so much better. Man, hire some damn artists. Well, nice average game here, but <laughs> we've seen it all before. And we've seen it all before, done a whole lot better. Okay, that's it for me. This is Arizona World Heavyweight Champion, over and out.